This is Ben Golver for Sports Illustrated. We're here in Miami with Mike Tyson talking about the NBA Finals. Uh, obviously, it's a big rematch here between the Heat and the Spurs, and the Spurs won Game 3 in a blowout fashion. Mike, what do the Miami Heat, LeBron James, Dwayne Wade have to do to bounce back from a loss like that? Hey, listen to me. Um, athletes of that magnitude, trust me, I'm sure they, um, they're thinking they're doing a bunch of um, brain work right now, and they're discussing this issue, and they, um, they're going to do it to the best of their ability for this won't happen again. You know, um, in sports, sometimes people look at it as just a bad day at the job. And um, you have to think about it. Two days are never the same. You know, they weren't able to do that the, the game before. They won sensationally. So um, we just hope they do well. We would like for them to do well, at least. I don't know if you saw LeBron James's comments calling himself the easiest target in sports. Do you agree that he's the easiest target? And can you relate to that feeling? There's no doubt about it. Him or Floyd Mayweather, you know, of course they are. Because people ex expect perfection from someone who's not perfect, you know. Um, they don't know how difficult it is. You know, the training is harder than the game. So people really don't know how difficult it is. Somebody who never played basketball a day of his life is there, and he's um, judging you for your every move, your every mistake, and just wouldn't know what it was like to put in the perspiration to become that person. You don't know how many great basketball players they are, and they still don't become um, some stars. So um, that's just something that comes with the territory. This is something we have to handle, even though we know that bothers us. It, it deflates our ego a little bit because we want to be perfect as well. But this is just not how it goes. Was there a time in your career where you felt like you had reached the pinnacle of your sport and you were still drawing unwarranted criticism? What does that feel like? Well, probably mine was warranted. But, you know, um, I was different than LeBron. I would attack my critics. <laughs> I would, like, physically attack them. Uh, <laughs> Hey, you know, it's just part of the business. Shouldn't take it personal. I, I just, um, my experience realized in life, just don't take it personal. I know you're really excited about this upcoming event at American Airlines Arena, home of the Heat on July 10th. What's it like to transition from being a boxer to promoting boxing? Well, I Am Ike Production is an um, organization that uh, me and my partner Gary Jonas put together. And um, being back in boxing as a promoter is pretty much different because I don't have my destiny in my hand. You know, when I was fighting, I pretty much had most of my destiny in my hand and why I'm putting somebody else's destiny in my hands, and which is very funny because I need my fighters to win. They need to be successful in order for our organization to um, fl flourish.